hello guys so in this video we'll continue making our quiz page so currently they have a screenshot here of a of the quiz page from the actual application and i did this because the time i won't really allow us to be taking pics at the page and then building it so i just took a screenshot so we can always go back and forth between the image and our code so the first thing i want to do will be to create this free quiz mode in our play component so over in our text editor I'll get rid of everything inside the return and clear this state object also. I'll take it away entirely for now. Won't be using it just yet. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to create or in our return use a fragment. Fragment. And we have to bring that in also from React. Fragment. And I also want to give this page a title because currently it says React app. So we'll be using React Helmet for that. So import Helmet from React Helmet. Now we'll use the Helmet library. And inside the inside Helmet, we'll access our title tag and set the title to quiz page now this should that should get that done now below that i'll create a div and this div will have an a class name of it will have a class name of questions have a class name of questions and in the, in the questions div, the first thing I want to do will be cr to create a or display a question. So for the questions, I'll be using the H5 for that. So you can use any element of your choice. And according to our screenshots, let's just copy. Google was founded in what year? So over in Visual Studio Code, Google was founded in what year? Now, obviously, these questions will be dynamic, so they'll be changing. It's not, it's not going to be typed in here. So, but what, one thing I like to do be to, is to use static data to first de define how I want my application to look and then I make it dynamic by replacing it with the appropriate variables. So after the questions, I'll create another div. But before I even go further, let's see what we have to ensure we have no errors in our component. So we have Google was founded in what here and I just want to keep my console open here to be sure there are no errors. Okay, I have some warnings here. Component is not defined on line one in quiz instructions. So it's defined but not used. So quiz instructions, line one, component. So we're not using this one here. So we'll just get rid of that. And then, okay, our constructor is currently useless in the play component. So I'll get rid of it for now. I'll just comment it out. Now, over in our return, the, this div will have a class name of options container because that's where our options will be displayed. Options container. Now, I'm going to create two divs for this because our options are currently displayed like so left to right left to right in twos grouped in twos so i'm just using these two divs for styling purpose so for the first option we use a paragraph and this paragraph will have a class name of option and over here 1997 1999 98 and 2000 so this option will carry 1997 the next one should be 1998 and then just copy these two here and paste them down here so the other one will be 99 and 2000 i don't really care about the order of the options now just to get our page in the right structure so refresh that and we have our four options here for the question now the next thing we'll be adding is these buttons here the previous the next and the quit buttons so to do that 
over in our text editor below the outside the options container we'll create another div and this will have a class name of to have a class name of button container now in the button container we'll simply have the three buttons so button close the button now just duplicate duplicate this button two more times to have three buttons there so the first button will have the text of previous next sorry previous the second will have the value the text of next and the third will have the value of quit so this will be previous this will be next and the third will have quit so let's see what we have so far now here are our buttons don't look good right now but we'll be styling them in a later video so that's that's the buttons for now now one last thing i want to add is the lifelines here so we have two 50 50 chances five hints this is the number of questions we have and our timer so let's go ahead and add that now to add that we'll do that above our question here so we'll be adding our lifelines just about there now for our lifelines we'll have a div it's going to have a class name of lifeline container Now in the lifeline container for the 50-50, which is this guy here, or this one here, or this one here, we'll be using a paragraph, a span in a paragraph. So I have a paragraph tag here. Now in that paragraph, we'll use our span tag because the Material Design Icons Library recommends we use span tags to display our icons. So this will have a class name of MDI, MDI Set Center. That's what displays that icon for us. And to have a size of 24 pixels. And I'll just give it my own custom class of lifeline icon for my own styles. So let's see what we'll have there. There we go. We have the, the 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 icon there and in our screenshot there's a number two next to it so i'll just add a static two for now like so and that should give us that so for the 50 50 i'll draw another paragraph so I can just simply duplicate this paragraph and the class name is going to be not set center but light bulb on outline light uh, L I G H T <laughs> bulb sometimes I can't type and spell at the same time outline so that's the class for the bulb icon and our lifelines are hints a five not two so this will be five and they have the same lifeline icon class and then what other thing do we need to add uh let me see okay we need to add the number of the question we're on and the timer so to do that over in visual studio code and we do that outside this lifeline container i'll create another div and in that div i'll use the we use the paragraph still so paragraph now in this paragraph we'll have two span tags one for the number of questions and the other for the timer so for the number of questions 
the number of questions is going to be i'm just typing one of 15 so this will be one of 15 and then the one for the timer is going to be to have a class name of mdi clock outline mdi dash clock dash outline and then it will have to also have a size of 24 pixels so mdi 24 pixels and then the let me see what we have currently let's see what we have okay okay that's it for now so let me add some static time here in fact so at the left of it i just add two colon 15 or something just to demonstrate the dummy time good so this is our number of questions and this is our timer to the right of it so we'll be using some styles to make these questions look the way they look in the actual application like this so thanks for staying with me and i hope you enjoyed this video